Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Blackfield Built YouTube channel. As you can look behind me, you can see we have the engine on the stand. So last night after I finished wrapping up the last video, I went inside my little storage unit thing right there and I uh, assembled the motor. Well, I put the head on it. This morning I woke up about 7 o'clock, I came out here and I finished sealing up. The oil pan is not... Uh, is not uh, Honda bonded to the block because I do have to take it back off to put a bung on it, which I'll do it do at the shop. So my plan today is to, uh, I already assembled a transmission. I just have to put a drain plug in it and we're gonna get the motor uh, and the clutch on. Um, I bought a, a couple of videos ago, I mentioned that uh, I was gonna use a Clutch Masters FX400. Um, uh, Christian needed a clutch for a dirt track customer, so I sold him that and then I ended up picking up a twin disc uh, Another clutch masters twin disc uh, the 725 for uh, 700 bucks from my buddy Johnny who had it on his daily and um, He uh, took it off because he's got blown out knee now, so he really can't drive a twin disc every day. So uh, I've already tucked the engine harness which on EKs is pretty simple um, you can cut a hole. I would use a hole saw, cut a hole right here behind the fuse box, and then cut a hole on this side of the uh, frame. And I ran the harness this way. The other side, I did the same thing. I put the part of the engine harness that needs to go inside the cabin to the swap harness that's already inside. And this is gonna go to the accessory thing. I'm going to put, <clears throat> I'm going to put uh, some rubber hose or grommet uh, here so that these things don't rub up on it and cause electrical fire because I have had it before happened before to me in a civic that i had a long time ago um i was at the track did a hit came back car started smoking i'm like what the fuck so cut the car off cut the kill the power and come to find out two wires were touching each other and they were melting out the wire harness so i'm gonna try to prevent that from happening here um let's see motor breakdown is a tsx bottom end it's the one that i bought for the integra that had a blown head gasket I bought a K20 Z1 long block a long time ago and it had a spun bearing, but the head was good. So I took the head out of, off of it. Um, I have a K20 Z3 that was over there that's blown up that I got with a K20 A3 that came out of a RSX base model. And it has a RSX type S uh, oil pump on it. So I took that oil pump, took it off, clean it out, spun it around, make sure it's all good. Um, I took the cams and the rocker assembly out of the Z3 and I put it in here. So this is like a hybrid concoction of concoctions with motors. So it's got Z3 cams and rocker arms in it. Uh, it's got a 50 degree VTC. It's got a base model RSX slash RSX type S oil pump and a K24 A2 bottom end out of a TSX. Um, what else? That's about it. So yeah, I'm going to roll the cherry picker out here get the motor off the stand get the clutch on it i do got an element motor back there i need the flywheel bolts off of and uh we're gonna go ahead and get this thing slapped in here today hopefully i can get it in here i can get uh the turbo and the manifold on um i can get the intake manifold on throttle body on run the wire harness and that should be it that i can do here for now maybe the fuel system i'm not sure yet uh but everything else I have to do at the shop as far as fabrication. Uh, I could technically get it running on, no, I couldn't because then I have to take the oil pan, unseal the oil pan. So yeah, we're just gonna wait to get it running until I get to the shop. I'm gonna make sure that it's gonna take me at the most four hours of work at the shop to get it running. And it'll probably be next weekend before I can bring it there to get it running. But I wanna make sure that I have everything to get the car running. So if I get everything in here now, I'm gonna make a list of what else I would need. Um, I know I need a drain for the turbo man for the turbo um, Well drain flange for the turbo and uh, Probably gonna need some line for it too. I have the feed line um, And I think that's about it. Oh, yeah, stay tuned
All right, guys, so I got the motor and trans uh, put together, clutches on, as you can see. Uh, so we're now going to drop it in the engine bay. The only issue that I have currently right now is that I do not have the post mount, well, not the post, well, the post billet mount that's supposed to go right here on the motor because uh, Stumpy also had a set of mounts here. And when I gave him his mount, like a dumbass, I gave him my post mount with it. So Jason will be here tomorrow. Um, well, I have, his, I have his rear mount bracket and he has my post mount. So uh, Jason will be here tomorrow. He's bringing um, my post mount and then uh, I give him Stumpy's mount to bring back to him. But uh, I'm still gonna set the motor in there. The trans mount and the rear post mount, rear mount will be able to hold the motor up. And if not, I will, well actually it'll, it'll hold, set the, the rear mount and the trans mount will hold the transmission side of the motor up and what i'll do is i'll put the car on jack stands i'll put the jack underneath the oil pan um in a way that it's not going to crush where the pickup sits and uh it'll hold it until tomorrow and then once jason gets here in the afternoon i'll slap the mount on and then uh after that pretty much it'll be just bringing the car to the shop getting the fab work done uh i'll probably get most of the wiring done today too also so let me go ahead and start dropping this thing in here and uh, check back in with you guys. All right, guys, progress check in. So motor's in, uh, the side mount, well, the trans mount and the rear mount are on. Rear mount's barely on. Can't really put the back bolt in until I get the post mount on on this side. So I've got this long ass bolt right here, just chilling, holding that up for now. Got the intake manifold mocked up. Uh, I remember on Blueberry when I used the same intake manifold that I had to cut some shit off of this. Don't mind this right now. Only had a cutting wheel. All my fucking uh, like flap discs are at the shop and it's probably too late for me to go to the store right now to get one, but it sits flush against it. Once I get the car to the shop to get all the fabrication done, I will uh, smooth this down and then put the uh, idler pulley and the uh tensioner back on it i was going to do the ac power steering delete on this but then i remember dumbass you put an ac in the car so you can't use it so <clears throat> i'll probably uh just get on max speed and rods <clears throat> and order their uh their kit um with the the billet uh the billet idler pulley and i'll probably just use the other one on the all-wheel drive car that i'm building Shit. Shouldn't say anything about it. So I'm building another all-wheel drive car, if y'all didn't know. So, um, yeah, I got the turbo manifold on. This isn't the exact turbo manifold that I'm going to run, but it is the exact tur same turbo manifold. Uh, I say that because the other one is out right now, get some stuff done to it, which is probably gonna be in another episode. Um, also, I'm a dumb bitch. Um, I forgot I was hoarding this LSD for this damn car and I had the transit part earlier and it was the perfect time for me to change the LSD and guess what your boy did not do? Change the LSD. So it's open diff right now, which I don't really care anyway because it's not like I'm going to be hot dogging this car everywhere and taking to a track all the time and I can take to a track with the open diff and be fine with it. Because um, the shit will lock up in a burnout anyway and it'll lock up when I leave. Uh, so if anybody needs a K20 LSD, if a Z3 LSD, uh, so yeah, you want it, holla at me. I sell it for like 400 bucks. Uh, if it's not sold by then, it was probably gonna be on K28, so it's probably gonna be sold in like 10 minutes anyway. But if I still have it and this video's up, holla at your boy. Uh, also, uh, let me talk about this radiator I got. So this radiator is from a Volkswagen Scirocco. 
And you're probably wondering, how the hell are you gonna fill the damn radiator if it's got no fill neck? Well, I got this billet neck right here from Amazon. It's got this sweet little thing that goes on the top of it and you can fill it up. And then uh, it's got a cap that if you wanna cap it off, you can cap it off. Uh, so I got that to fill the radiator. Uh, the radiator is a dual pass radiator. So it's a, a tuck, semi tuck radiator. It's dual pass. It has a hell of a uh, cooling capability. So if you don't know what dual pass radiator is, basically the water will come in from this end. It'll go across the radiator, go down it, go back through it and then come back out the radiator. So it cools the, the fluid twice basically. And it has two small uh, like uh, 10 or eight inch fans. Yeah, spider web on my face. Got two small 10 or eight inch fans that go on it, and I'll probably put those in the front. The intercooler will sit here. It'll probably be, it'll be the same intercooler that I have on Blueberry. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna run the pipes backdoored or not, uh, but um, I'll probably probably. Oh uh, yeah, I can't because the intercooler sits in. I mean, the radiator sits in uh, one of the old ac pockets and the cool thing about this also too is that when i do decide to put ac on the car i can use either i'll probably just use i'll use an integra ac condenser and integra ac condensers they'll fit right here and then i'll have custom lines i'll have custom lines made for the condenser or i'll get the hybrid racing lines um and uh we'll go from there with that uh, also the turbo right now is a 5057 uh, Rev 9 Johnny. I've used this one on um, what the hell is that? Called? Heavy Flow when I first did it, and uh, it was a great turbo. This one's a billet wheel one. Uh, this one is also the same one that I used on uh, Derek's gray car. With I'm getting another valve cover. It's not the valve cover that's going on the car. I believe Derek might be trying to surprise me and get a valve cover like the one that he's got on his car. I'll throw a um picture of what the one that he's got on his car and uh like right here and then um i'm not sure uh i forgot to put the baffle in the oil pan so once i take the oil pan back off i gotta put the bat baffle in it um i gotta order a master cylinder well a slave cylinder a clutch slave cylinder a uh a clutch slave cylinder and um i think that's it i gotta order a clutch slave cylinder i got a map sensor no i have to order a map sensor i have to order this plug for this old evap thing uh i have a y harness i have that tuck harness that i talked about uh two videos ago i just gotta put that on and then run it heat wrap it wire it up uh which really isn't it's just plug and play honestly and uh i gotta do grounds power heart well the power harness from the battery to the well the power wire from the battery to the starter i got to put bolts in the starter get post mount run the fuel system and then uh make the down pipe do the rest of the fast stuff and then we can start it uh hopefully i should have it running by next sunday uh i'd like to have it ready for Summerfest. the body probably won't be wrapped by then i'm gonna see if i can get it done by then but i'm not sure uh, but as far as like the engine bay and everything it'll be nice so uh, if y'all don't know about summerfest summerfest is a, a event that my buddy ty's put it on along with dexter curry they used to run it at fayetteville drag strip but fayetteville drag strip closed down um if they get a flyer by the time i post this video i post it in here somewhere but if it's not uh it's june 5th uh which is a saturday i believe uh it is an all-day event uh there's drag racing there's a car show there is a uh, test and tune there's actual uh, like classes you can run in. Um, you can grudge race if you want to during test and tune. Uh, supposed to be a lot of fast cars out there. Uh, pretty good time. It was a really good time uh, before Corona uh, hit. So now that most of the stuff is dying down, we're having an event. Uh, if you're local or if you're out of state, it doesn't matter. Just show up, come out, have fun. Uh, so this car should be there. Um, I may have an all-wheel drive car there. I'm not sure. Uh, Derek's white car, Derek's red car. 
me, uh, Stumpy, and Jason should have their cars done by then too also. So, and I believe Christian Morrison, Morrison should have his car out there also. So, <clears throat> that's probably gonna wrap up this video anyway. Uh, as always, comment, like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next upload.